Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Kendra, this is Nathan, and today we're headed on an adventure. So we have been discussing getting a 12 passenger van for several years since we've had six children. I, it's a dream vehicle for me. I have wanted a 12 passenger van since I was like 15 years old. I grew up driving my mom's Suburban, um, then I've always had a minivan, so I just feel like we gotta go bigger. Um, but anyways, so it's time to pull the trigger. We are headed to Lincoln to test drive one. We're gonna bring it back for 24 hours, have our mechanic look at it, and um, then we'll see if we pull the trigger on it. But we're hopeful. It's kind of incredible because it's really hard to find a 12 passenger van that isn't white. We have found one that is silver, so that's super exciting. Um, we're trying to make this trip really quick, back and forth. Um, so I'll take you along and I can't wait to show you guys. Look at the space. What do you think, babe? Love it. You look so sexy. Love it. I'll flip you guys around and show you a little bit. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just thinking I should wait till we get home and then we could give you guys a full tour after we get it. Are you ready to drive this beast on the interstate? Yep. Oh my gosh, the space. The trunk space too. That's gonna be phenomenal. All right, while we're on our way home, I thought I would tell you guys kind of a cool story of this whole scenario. So we've been talking to a guy in Omaha that sold vans and um, early January, we said we weren't quite ready to pull the trigger, but would be soon. And he gave us a list of vans he would have for sale. So when I contacted him this week, he was like, uh, I actually can't sell you guys anything because I can't sell the vans that I have right now because manufacturing was down last year. And so it's, he's not capable of purchasing new vans, so he needs to keep the old ones he has, right? Um, and so I, I was like, oh gosh, I don't know. In Nebraska, it's really hard to find a van in a good price range. Um, out of state, it seemed like there was better options for us, but I didn't really want to go out of state. Um, I didn't want to spend days going to see if we wanted a van if we did not, didn't end up wanting it, you know, that whole scenario. So um, I contacted this guy in Lincoln this morning and um, he's like, actually, yeah, we have this van and it's in our price range and it was supposed to be rented out yesterday, but the guy never showed up. So come ahead and come get it. And he switched the guy out for a different van because that guy ended up needing it still. But um, it was like the Lord held the van for us today and it's all kind of working out. And yeah, anything else to that? It's driving beautifully. I can't wait to give you guys kind of the whole tour of it. I can't wait to share it with the kids. The kids are gonna be so excited. This has been like a pipe dream to them. We have been talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. So like that is actually coming to fruition. It's just so great. I'm so excited. Love you, babe. Love you. So we just took a little cruise around town with everybody. Atticus and Harlow in the back. They're in the back. Plenty of space. Goldie is so happy, aren't you, Goldie? She got her own spot. Doesn't have to lay on the floor. She got her own four seats. Got her own seat. Yeah, we have uh, four extra seats, which we will easily fill those often. But um, it's so nice to have space, isn't it, guys? Yeah. I was going to show you just a little bit. Uh, Nathan needs to do some work once we get home. So I was going to just show you guys um, some neat little things about the car and then I'll kind of give you guys the rest of the tour. Um, so we have a backup camera right here. It also tells the time, date. It's Bluetooth compatible so we can hook our phones up to it and talk and put our podcast and music from our phones on it, which is super nice. Um, oh, and then this phone holder. You have your phone. 
have Nathan show you guys how it fits our phone. Oops. Doesn't typically there. So it kind of is, it. Yeah, you guys can see where Dad's is. So that's nice. We were gonna buy you know a dash holder right here for it, so we don't need that. Um, I was able to use the cruise control on the interstate, and Nathan was able to too, and we both really liked that. Um, you can see over here that it shows miles per empty. We got to reset some sensors. Um, we did something with the tires this morning that we need to go get that sensor turned off. So we haven't done that yet. Um, we're gonna fill up with gas. I'm going to show you guys where the gas tank is while we're doing this. So here's the gas tank. Is that what you call it? Tank. It is right up against the front door, um, which you have to open the door to be able to close it. Right, Nathan? Yes. So, like that. Um, and then I was gonna show you guys on this side, we have a cup holder, which is pretty nifty. Nathan said that the seat is pretty spacious. The only thing is, is he's got long legs and it pushes up against this. So um, that is one little minor complaint that we have. And so much places to put stuff in. And Goldie, she's found her spot while we're filling up gas. <laughs> you happy dog? Another thing I was gonna show you is we have, ooh, the door is hard to open, but we have a step that goes up and they need to go into the gas station and grab something to drink, so. You're cold, buddy, aren't you? Yeah. Mommy? So here is kind of the control system for the front. The back is controlled up here. One of the cooler things that we've noticed is if, what is it, if you turn on, how do you do that so you can turn it on all for all of them? Um, it should be that, but they've been screwing with theirs. Oh, okay, so maybe we can't do that. Um, it has two 12-volt plug-ins and then a USB plug-in, which is awesome. The, um, what is this called? Gear shift. <laughs> Gear shift is right there. It has automatic lights, so that's nice. Don't have to remember that. The windows. This is really different, but so this part of the window doesn't roll down, but this little part does, which is, yeah, different. I love all the places to stick things. Like it's got a mom of a lot of kids in mind. Anyways, cup holders all over. And yeah, do you have anything to add to that, Nathan, that we we're gonna point out? Uh, it is, we never, we've never had a vehicle this new. Um, it's five years newer than anything we've ever had, so it's kind of nice, like with the USB and stuff like that. And um, the engine's very powerful. It feels like there's no need for more power, so that's good. What size of engine is it, or what did you it's say? It's a 3.7 liter V6, which Ford has come a long way with. Cool. And um, on the steering wheel, you can control the radio and cruise control. Was there anything else? Oh, you could accept phone calls on it. Yep. Which we loved the cruise control. I think I already mentioned that, that the cruise control worked really, really well on the interstate. So anyways, that's it for now. I'll show you guys the rest of the van here soon. <laughs> and obviously it is big. Three kids. My youngest one. Oh, and story just farted <laughs> and, and sparrows in here sparrow lay down so they can see how big it is this is this makes my grocery shopping haul so much more doable so yeah you can't lay flat well, or straight these doors come on out guys dad's working on the door yep boom oh, it looks so nice oh <laughs> we are gassy <laughs> Okay, it's getting dark, but I hope you guys can see this good. We are supposed to have rain in the forecast the next several days, so I wanted to get this done so you guys could see it. So anyways, the far back, like I said, has four chairs. It also has a 12 volt charger um, and cup holders on either side. This middle row has two seats right here and another one right here. They all, um, lay back like an airplane um, seat would. And then this front row has three chairs um, that we have car seats. They, several of them have the car seat buckle 
you know thing so you can underneath there you can do it so anyways okay guys we are home and we have given you the tour i hope you enjoyed that and if you have any questions um ask in the comment below we'll try to answer them this is our first for transit we have purchased so we're just kind of along for the journey and learning as we go but i am pleased with what we got so far anyways thanks for watching if you have not liked and subscribe please do and we'll see you next time